Welcome back, and today we're going to be talking about different items you can use to create eyes for your puppet. I have links for all the products I use for eyes down in the description. If you have any ideas of your own, please leave a comment down below. I might feature it in my next video. So here's another one of the puppets I made with the pattern from the other video. Now the easiest thing to do to give this guy eyes is to simply use ping pong balls and glue them right on top. For a craft project, hot glue is the best way to go. If you want something a little bit more permanent, a little bit more sturdy than ping pong balls, I always recommend to use wooden balls like these. These are called doll heads. If you look at them, they have a flat edge on one side and they have a hole in the middle, which is great for attaching them. So it's ideally, you know, they are a little heavier and uh, they're a little hard to attach to the fabric by itself. I wouldn't recommend glue. The best thing to do is to find a bracket. And you can get a bracket like this at a hardware store and all you do is you line up these holes with these and you put a screw through it. So it also kind of tethers them together so they don't get kind of wonky. Now what you would do is put these two eyes on top of the head and then the bracket goes inside the puppet and then you screw it in from the inside and then those eyes are not going anywhere. And if you do that technique, you, you definitely want to paint these first. I recommend a spray paint that is also a primer. That lets you do it in one coat. Another cool thing to use are jumbo ping pong balls. These are a lot larger than your standard size ping pong balls. Having larger eyes can change the expression so much. Another way to use these giant ping pong balls is with a puppet like this, with a bigger head. Now it's not ideal to attach these to the head. They're sticking out, they don't lie flush, unless you're doing some kind of a bug character and they're on top of the head. However, what I like to do is actually use scissors and cut off a little piece of it like that. This allows you to have eyes that lie much closer to the head. Another cool thing to use are just regular spoons. You can just cut the top of them off like this. And with the tops of these small plastic spoons, they also work well. And it gives a different shape to the eyes, which is kind of cool. But these types of spoons aren't very strong. And I also found big plastic mixing spoons like this. Using a saw, I cut off the top of it like this, and then just sanded the edge, and then you have um, now these, you could use smaller spoons than this, these are quite large. However, these are a lot more durable. These will outlast the puppet, the rest of the puppet. Uh, and you got some nice big eyes there. Now going back to some wooden eyes, we have these little wooden discs here as well. These also lay pretty flat and look nice once they're painted. These domes work really nicely too. And what's nice about these is these will work with either character. They sit really nice to this if you kind of want eyes that bulge out a little bit. And they'll sit really nice on a character like this. And these ones you don't have to screw in because of the flat edge that they have. And they're a lot lighter. And you can just glue those down to the top of your puppet. Another trick is going to a local thrift store and pulling the eyes off of some stuffed animal. These eyes tend to be made out of a really strong plastic and what's cool about them is a lot of times they have a seam down the center like this so I could split this open and have two pairs of eyes to put on a character like this or I could leave it whole to have eyes that go on top of the head of a character or even on the top of a head of a character like this. A lot of times when you use the eyes from a store, the eye focus isn't very good. So I would uh, sand that off and repaint it and then put on my own pupils. These are just a few examples of different things you can use for eyes locally. And if you use techniques from any of my videos, I want to see it. Send me a link and I can feature it in the future.